coach has been really consistent talking to us in, in the weekly press conferences about how you guys have stayed on a narrow track. Yeah. Uh, every week, even keel, business as usual, everything's the same. You're, you're playing for something different now. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is big coming up this weekend. Is, there, is it different for you, or is it business as usual just like the previous 12 weeks? I mean, it's usual just like the previous ones. I mean, obviously the stakes are higher. We're actually playing for an ACC championship against the number one team in the nation. But uh, we're thinking about it as, as, as just another game. We're not trying to overthink the game too much because when you overthink the game, you have people trying to do other people's job. And that's been one of the things that we've been focusing on the whole season, just everybody doing their job and that will make us be successful. There's a theory out there that says that you guys are playing with house money right now. What? Playing with house money, meaning that you, you really got nothing to lose because no one expected you to be here. However, within the walls of this program, if your goals were the Coastal Division, mm -hmm. then it means you guys expected to be here. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you respond to somebody who says that? Well, uh, like Coach Fedora said, I don't know if anybody's seen the, uh, the other video from after the game, but our goal was to be state champions and uh, Coastal champions. After we completed both those goals, we set new goals for ourselves, and that's to be the ACC champions. So. I mean, we're, we're, we we do expect to be here, and um, I mean, we're going to play. We got to do. We got to do the. Uh, that's the just game. people saying what they say. But yeah, that's just that's just people talking. But they're outside the walls of the program, and exactly. that's. And I think, just, not to overuse this term, but within the walls of the program, yep. that's where all the success has been this year, and it's been the mental thing, it's been a psychological thing, and the got your back thing, because the physical stuff was there. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of been the missing link to what you guys didn't have before that you have now, right? Yep, yes sir. And one of the things Coach uh, Coach Hitchens always talks about in our meetings, we can only control what goes on within our four walls. That's what he says before every defensive meeting, and we're just trying to keep it that way. Just as long as everybody knows what their job is and what our goal is, then we're going to get the job done. Among the many things that Coach Chiswick was just telling us that Deshaun Watson does well, very well, he said there's a rare thing. He has sort of a sixth sense out there as a quarterback. And I asked him, I said, how do you prepare against a quarterback that has that? And I'm going to ask you the question. How do you prepare against a quarterback that sort of has that extra it that nobody else you face this year has? Um, just being disciplined, just knowing what we got to do to, to get him down. And um, with him, I mean, it's just going to be that extra effort. He has that extra sense, so we're just going to get that extra effort. I mean, a lot of quarterbacks, uh, besides last week, like uh, Jacoby, he was he was a hard quarterback to tackle, so we had to make sure we focus more on wrapping up and getting them down to the ground. Well, him, we're going to have to track him better and uh, actually use our speed to get to him. And their ground game is pretty good. They, they, they've used it, served them very well at times, that big run against Florida State when they closed them out. So talk a little bit about their ground game and, and what makes it so difficult, what makes it so challenging. Uh, I mean, they're just they're just shifty. Like uh, the quarterback, he's very shifty. The running back's pretty shifty. We just want to make sure we fit our gaps and get our, everybody to to where they need to be at. Cool. Thanks, love